Yeah, um, I guess Ladarius, uh, talking to JJ uh, Piggies the other day and talked about just, you know, what the, he can, what other people can expect out of you. And one of the things that JJ said and described you is just a wrecking ball. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, yeah, I mean, is that something that you've always kind of found as kind of an identity of just the way you play personally? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just coming from high school, you know, I'm the type of person that always play fast, you know, practice how you play. So if you practice soft and practice slow, that's how you play in the game. So I, I use it as like just playing fast and just playing hard. I think this is our first time chatting with you. Can you just yes. kind of take us through the process of, of how you ended up here and why this was the right fit for you? Um, you know, I talked to my family. Uh, I just felt like uh, Auburn wasn't a great fit for me, you know, just switching and having different coaches. So um, I entered a portal, uh, just talked to a lot of coaches, and I just felt like this was a place for me to be, you know, just a scheme and how uh, Coach Parcher used their players. So I just felt like this was a better fit for me. How has that adjustment to this scheme and this defense, the transition from uh, just been from spring and to now? It's actually been great. Um, you know, just having two defensive coordinators uh, at Auburn, you know, you learn a lot, you know, just coming from being a freshman. Um, you see a lot of things, you learn, you just adapt. So coming over here, you know, I've I seen a lot of plays and a, a lot of concepts, so it's more easier for me to adapt and um, be able to um, run the defense. There's a lot of safeties on this team, a lot of different kinds of safeties. Yes, kind of what do you see being your role in the safety room? Um, playing all over the field, you know, playing in different uh, positions, you know, just, just playing hard and being the best I could be. Ladarius, I asked Austin the same question, but it looked like you guys were getting a little more chippier out there today. A little, a couple of fights mm -hmm. break out and things like, yes, like that. Uh, um, just, just your thoughts on where you're at at this stage of fall camp. Um, just being day five, you know, we got a lot of young guys. Um, I feel like we get in there, but I, I feel like we still got more work to do. You know, we get chippy on the field because we got a lot of excitement. We know what type of players we got on the field. So, you know, it's always com kind of competition going on. So, you know, it's, it's, gonna, it's bound to get uh, rowdy out there. So, just a lot of excitement. As one of the new guys, f from your perspective, either another new guy or a guy who's been here a while, who, who has kind of stood out to you? Who's kind of impressed you of seeing him up close? Uh, Davidson, the cornerback. Uh, being a freshman and picking up on plays and making plays, that's, that's, that's a guy I see, like, you know, making a lot of plays and becoming a great player. Anyone on offense catching your eye when you're playing against them? Uh, shoot. Uh, Zach. Zach. Well, definitely Zach. Yeah, I think you're every defensive player we talked to. So mm -hmm. Davidson has been the one that's jumped mm -hmm. out. I mean, you kind of talked about it, but just from the group as a whole, what is it about a young guy like him that's come in and gotten everybody's attention? He's focused. Um, he mean business. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't joke around, you know, he's very serious about playing time and um, just uh, learning the plays. And for, for being a young guy, you know, you know a lot of young guys come out of uh, high school and just still trying to learn how to, you know, be a, a college player. Davidson, uh, like, picked up on that quick and just being focused and just learning the plays. So that's something that I feel like he uh, do a, a good job at. You coming into the spring and uh, playing in the spring, what were some of the takeaways that you took away from that period that you decided to bring into fall camp and said, this is a big heavy emphasis in part of my game? Uh, playing fast, um, being able to see formations and then be able to be physical. That's why I took from um, the spring game because this, this defense that he run is very, got to be very physical to be in it. Well, there's obviously every practice I've seen so far, players, coaches, whoever walks, steps on, before they step on that field, taps this sign, can you just talk about what that means to you and the team? Um, to me, I, I feel like that sign means to lock in when you step on the field. Well, I, I can say just for me, but for everybody, I feel like that sign means you got to, once you tap that sign, you locked in, you, you, you mean business, and you feel like uh, you got to go hard. You feel me? Like you just got to be your best player that you could be. You being part of a new staff and a new team, I mean, what's the kind of the team vibe been like, not just on the field, but just off the field and just – Preparation and so forth. Oh, shoot. Off the field, you have fun, you know, with the whole team. We have fun. Um, we mean business. We work. Uh, we, we play hard, you know. Um, a lot of guys are like a brother, uh, like off the field. Like, you may see us get chippy on the field, but off the field, like, we all together. We all hanging out and just having fun. Obviously, Auburn is, is on the schedule. Have you thought about what that's going to be like seeing those guys again? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to play hard every game, but that game, you know, I got to get my get back, so. Speaking of that, you've seen J.J. play offense and defense. Where would you put him if you're J.J.'s coach? Oh, no, I'd put him on both. But um, J.J.'s a physical guy. And then, like, his mobility to move for a big guy, I'd put him on defense. For, like, if I was his coach, 
he can do a lot of things. He's versatile. Like you, he played basketball, he could shoot, he could he could dribble and everything. So that's my first time I've seen a big guy to move like that. So that's how I'll put him on defense. Just kind of going off that, I mean, obviously he came to Auburn to play on the offensive side of the ball and just moved to defense, and he played defense previously, but just to kind of out of necessity, how have you seen him kind of grow into position the final couple of games last season? Um, just from being an offensive guy, I feel like he, like, picked up, like, really quick because he had got moved into D-line, and um, he, uh, you know, just uh, had to learn a different type of, like, uh, technique and stuff like that because, you know, for being an offense and – playing defense and also he had actually like a extra like boost because he know how offensive linemen are. So I felt like he had a good good uh, sense of how to um, play D line. We all know that fall camp is is a grind, but kind of take us through your day. What time do you get out of the bed in the morning? What time are you here? What goes into what? So I, I wake up at five thirty, I set alarm for five thirty and then I set alarm for five thirty five. So I'm I'm over here before probably like five fifty five. And then I'm doing treatment, um, just getting taped up, scratching, and just just trying to just get ready for practice. What what time do you go to bed? Uh, shoot, I go to bed at ten. Is that what time you leave here? Nine. Okay. Take me a shower, go to bed. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you guys. All right. All right.